You can study in the morning, you can study at night. You can study outside by a campfire light. You can study with the rabbi. Drain the swamp. That's what Donald Trump wants to do. And a lot of people agree with him. The argument is that there's so much corruption, there's so much of an inability to get anything done, to make no progress at all, that we have to drain the swamp. We have to get everyone out of government. We have to rip it apart and rebuild it from the ground up. I I'm not sure I disagree, to a certain extent. There is too much corruption. There is too much stagnation in government. Congress isn't even doing their job. They won't even debate over a new Supreme Court nominee. There are real problems in our government, and we need real change. You know, this isn't the first time we face this sort of a scenario, though. Go back to this week's Torah portion, the book of Genesis, Parshat Breshit. God creates the entire world. Things are going swimmingly. Until at the very end of the Parsha, God sees that there's real corruption. There are real problems with what God has created. That over the, the little bit of time that the world has existed already, people have discovered how to be evil, how to murder. We've made tremendous mistakes. And God says, I'm going to drain the swamp. That's it. God says, the, the Torah says, The Lord saw how great man's wickedness on earth was, how every plan devised by his mind was nothing but evil all the time. The Lord regretted all that God had made, and God's heart was saddened. And the Lord said, I will blot from the earth the men whom I created, men together with beasts, creeping things, and birds of the sky, for I regret that I made them. God's going to drain the swamp. God is going to start over, brand new, everything gone, new plans, new creation. Let's do this right this time. But then there's the very last phrase of this Torah portion. But Noah found favor with the Lord. V'noach matzachin be'ine Adonai. All of a sudden, the swamp isn't being completely drained. There's something worth saving, someone worth saving. Noah, an ish tzaddik, a righteous person. It's not all bad, God realizes. You know, it's easier to drain the swamp than to take an honest look at what is failing, what is wrong, what is corrupt, and what is good, what is working, what is righteous. It's easier to just throw out the baby with the bathwater. But God says in this week's parsha, that's not the route I'm going to take. And I wonder if God isn't also saying that's not the route you should take. There are things that our government does that are good. There are things that work. There are things that are righteous. There are people who are righteous as our elected leaders. Don't just drain the swamp. Don't throw it all away. Take an honest accounting of where you are, what works and what doesn't, and then get to work at fixing those things that don't. No one can argue that Obamacare is broken. No one can argue that regulation is broken. No one can argue that taxation is broken. But that doesn't mean that you throw out the entire government. That doesn't mean that you get rid of entire departments. It doesn't mean that you drain the swamp. It means that you find what's righteous and you fix what isn't. That's what God did. Maybe that's what we should be doing. We're talking Torah. Talking Torah.